Salon Rio and Chevy. Hey everyone, welcome to I Just Watch. It's your boy Joseph, and we're here to talk The Black Phone, starring Ethan Hawke and some of the most gangster ass kids, uh, or, you know, characterized kids I've ever seen in my life. I was like, damn, these kids is gang. I remember, before I get into it, I gotta hit you with the usual. Just hopefully you like this enough to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified. Now, these gangsta ass little kids. Was it like Denver? I should have wrote it down or typed it up. But I think it was like Denver, Colorado, somewhere over there, like 70s whatever these kids was getting them streets was rough i didn't know it was like that all right again i don't know if it was real but i was <laughs> I was watching it and thinking like there's some thug ass gangsta ass little kids and then like homeboy who beat the shit out of the bully i was like i want to be like him when i grow up cold-blooded like he was a he was cool he was cool and <laughs> this movie did two things very well one it made you like care and laugh with these characters like the kids because it's mainly the kids when you needed to and then when it switched up and got creepy and serious and like suspenseful it did it so smoothly you didn't notice because you were like oh shit that's crazy and then cling and you're just like oh shit and you were in like it was no moment of like oh that doesn't feel right like he he meshed it very smoothly very well and it was funny because watching it i was like i'm getting like mad sinister vibes here afterwards IMDb, trusted. Same director, Pfft, you know, duh. I didn't know that, but I was like, man, this feels like Sinister. I wonder if it's the same director. Yes, should have known. It was Ethan Hawke again. Ethan Hawke kills it as the. <laughs> it's funny because this movie is about a kidnapper who kills kid, who kidnaps kids, kills them. Mult. He has a, a multiple personality disorder, which you see through the mask. With the with that being said, the mask is dope. I love the different masks. I love when he's like this, and he does the whole. Th I was like, "That's cool. That's creepy. I love it." And he, the mask would change depending on the personality. I thought that was cool. What I didn't expect, which I kind of knew, but I, I didn't expect it to be so like intertwined almost, was the supernatural aspect of it with the kids, and then even Ethan Hawke's character himself. Like, it felt like a take of um, or a version of Shine, if you know the lore when it comes to Stephen King's books or even his the movies based off his books it felt like a, a a a version of shine like almost like this movie could take place in one of stephen king's multiversal universe things you know what i'm saying like it felt like that it was good and i really liked it the kids killed it <laughs> and i like the the setup and the the way they delivered little things and the, the way the story developed and the, the sister she's great and it's funny because like you dislike their dad but as it goes on, you dislike him a little bit more. But then you kind of like him at the end. <laughs> and I, was, I was watching it with Eric and I was like, yo, their dad looks like he not only uses meth, but he cooks it. Oddly enough, a very funny movie. At the same time, when it needed to be scary, it was actually really fucking scary. Because there's moments where like the whole theater was like, ah, like we would jump together. Or you'd be like, oh shit, like, you know, there was just... It was a good combination. I actually really love this movie. It was some good scares. A great twist to the story that I actually didn't know, did not know, <laughs> that apparently before it came out, you could like call the phone or the number and like hear, I guess what the kids were saying out of context before the movie came out. So that was just genius, just thought I'd throw that out there. But I really love this movie. I thought this movie was creepy. It was enjoyable, it was a fun watch. I wanna watch it again. Now knowing the twist that happens, I like wanna see if I can catch more clues than I previously had. Um, but I want to hear your thoughts. Have you seen it? Are you going to see it? You should see it. This one's actually really good. I definitely recommend it. Uh, I'm excited for the spooky, scary season that's coming, ladies and gentlemen. You're one of my favorites. Uh, but I want to hear, again, your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, requests down below in the comment section. I love hearing from you. But until next time, stay safe. Be well. Adios.